Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Ease Chronicles. Today we're in Darm Tower, and uh, let's go ahead and get started. If you head this way, you will go inside of a basement, and you really don't want to do that right now. And remember this passage here for later. Uh, there's quite a bit of backtracking inside this one dungeon, so yeah. Out here, if you need to, you can just stand still and heal up, so that's kind of nice. Also, I have the timer ring equipped in here because I feel like the best way to uh, deal with this dungeon is just avoid as many enemies as humanly possible. Oh, well, we already have a heal potion, so don't worry about that. There, we get an evil ring. Do not equip that. Whatever you do. Oh, we already have this mirror, and this treasure chest is empty. That would normally have a Talwar, um, but we already have that. So there's going to be quite a bit of empty chests throughout this tower, um, that would have equipment that you could normally have purchased, but I already bought them, except for one notable exception. So I will be getting that chest. Um, and then I just came back to this path anyway, even though I told you to remember it for later. Hey, it is what it is. Okay, so let's keep on going on through here. We are on the third floor of the tower, and in here you pretty much just follow the path. There's really nothing to, uh, keep it, you know, nothing to do on this floor yet. We will be back here later. Now, the reason why I'm not fighting the enemies around here is because level 10 is the maximum level, and you don't need any more gold, and experience is useless at this point, so why bother? Yeah, so I'm just gonna keep on going. Whoa! Yeah. Um, if you went up that path that I ignored right there, you would have gotten a chest with some reflex armor, but... I already have that, so I completely ignored it, so don't worry about it. Let's go over here, and then go up this first path right here to uh, continue on our way to the sixth floor. You don't have to do this if you already have the large shield. I never bought the large shield, because I'm an idiot. So I have to go in here and go ahead and uh, grab it. But I'm getting lost in here, which is just lovely. Okay, yeah, it's over this way. There we are. Now I know what you're thinking, viewers. David, you already have the silver shield. It's much better than the large shield. Why did you even bother going to get the large shield? Well, I'll tell you. You're going to need it anyway. Yeah, the game pulls a bastard move on you. Pretty soon, actually. So, yeah, just uh, deal with it, grab it, and move on with life. We're actually doing really nice. I've only gotten hit, like, once. And I can always heal up between floors anyway. Whoa, what's going on? Oh, man. Well, what the hell? Prison cell? Oh, no. What's missing? Uh, let, me, let me check that out. <gasps> Our silver equipment is missing. Yeah. This is why you had to go and get that large shield and everything else, because the game pulls this bullshit on you. Oh, hey Luda. Yeah, why are you here? Oh. How did you sleepwalk in here? This place is locked up tight! Oh. Oh. Huh, that's odd. Why would monsters just throw you in here? That's strange. Oh. Huh. Can we break down these walls? Oh, no one's coming either. Do you have anything else to say? Yeah, we're kind of dumb. Oh. Okay, well, if you say so. Oh. Oh. Really? Huh. Who'd you see? Oh, in a passage with a row of statues, you saw an old man holding something, but then he disappeared. Isn't that strange? Do you have anything else to say? Oh, um, yeah, okay, so yeah, he has nothing else to say. So now what we have to do is literally wait. Once you talk to Luda twice, you check the wall, where it says the wall is, like, dusty or whatever, and then you check the bars that say that the bars, uh, you know, nobody out the corridor, bam! Doogie will come on in here. Hey there, how are you doing? Well, good to see that you never change. Oh, yeah, we heard about you from Gobon. You're as, like, 
you know, best friend or second-hand man or right-hand man. That's, that's the term that I'm looking for. Oh, no. Traps. Oh, yeah, we heard about that. Oh, an old man named Rava is there. Okay. Oh, okay. Will do. Well, if you say so. Um, but first, let's talk to you. I don't really like his portrait right here. Like, his face, it looks really gaunt. Like, he doesn't look muscular. He looks sickly. You know? Kind of strange there. Oh, um, sure, I guess. Oh, yikes? Well, yeah, we might as well give it to him. So let's get on out of here. And we are in the basement on the first floor of the tower now that I told you about uh, at the very beginning of the episode. So now we need to head over to the third floor and uh, try to find this Rava guy. Apparently he lives near a row of statues, but he can, like, vanish into thin air? That's kind of interesting. Well, the only thing that I know of that allows you to kind of vanish into thin air, or to see things that are hidden to the naked eye, would be with the Mask of Eyes. So let's go ahead and click that, and boom, done the end. Hey, hey look at this! Secret passage! But now we can't actually see Rava until we take that thing off. Hey there. Yeah, Doogie gave it to, uh, us. Oh, no problem. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, wow. So I guess he was here studying, then the storm wall came in, which a monster's come in, and he's been kind of hiding. Oh, well, what does the idol do? Really? That's kind of cool. Hey. Oh, well, that and this hidden room, I'm sure. Um, we're kind of dumb. We just want to come in here and kill monsters, you know? Kick ass and take names. Oh, yeah, the books of ease, too. Sure, whatever. Oh, was it? Oh! Huh. Really? So the land of ease is a land adept in the powers of magic with an abundant supply of silver-like metal. But it vanished from history. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Oh. Huh. So ease is somewhere in Asteria. But where? Oh. So the Stormwall appeared and then Ease vanished? But the Stormwall only appeared six months ago. Huh, that's weird. So you're saying that this mysterious ancient land of Ease was here up to six months ago and now all of a sudden it's gone? Uh, I don't know. Oh wow, that's crazy. And then the monsters built this tower. Whoa! Huh. That's odd. Oh. Okay, so all this stuff happened in the past, and then, I guess, the storm wall reappeared. Yeah. Oh. Huh. Yeah, we kind of ran into one of those traps earlier that teleported us into the, um, jail cell down there. Oh, of course I do. I'm the hero. I'm Adolf. I have to. Hey, and what does this blue necklace do? Oh, awesome. Very good. Do you have anything else to say? Get over here. Oh, okay. So I'm going to meet you on the sixth floor, but before I get up there, I'm going to put on this blue necklace before I forget. Actually, I need one of the mask eyes to get on out of here. Then I'm going to put on the blue necklace. Now, I'm going to meet you on the sixth floor, and again, make sure you have that necklace equipped. I've made my way here, and now that we have that necklace equipped, we can make it through that booby trap. Hey, awesome! So, let's just uh, keep on climbing up this tower. Yeah, I figured I'd cut out the backtracking, because we've already seen it. We already know how to get on up there. Wow, we only have one day to get through this place. I hope we can make it in time. I hope the uh, time doesn't run out or anything. Oh, hey there, Dogie. 
How did you get all the way up here? Yeah, no kidding. Oh, yeah, doing more than you are. Um, we're trying to find those books of ease. I'm not trying to get my jollies, I'm trying to get the book of ease. Come on now. Oh, yeah, he did mention you. Uh, yeah, we spoke to him. We gave him, uh, your idol and everything. Oh, okay, so we saved your life, too. Huh. Oh, I guess so. Maybe that's why there's all these holes in the walls and everything? Oh, a rod that's designed like the crystal that we've got, like Sarah's crystal? And we'll need to get to the top floor. Oh, yeah, Jebba. She seems to know quite a bit, I've got to say. But anyway, let's come on over here. Again, ignoring as many enemies as we possibly can, and getting as much treasure as we possibly can as well. Awesome. Yeah, definitely equip that thing ASAP. Wow, this timer ring is coming in so handy for ignoring these monsters. I hate how the maximum level is level 10. Like, you need to, like, you seriously, you need to be level 10 to defeat that vampire. And then, you know, it's like... Like, so then the entire darn tower, you're just kind of screwed. You know what I mean? I don't know. Oh, you know what? Actually, I want to say that I have to go, um... Yeah, okay, yeah. I'm, I'm going the right way. Hold on. Yeah, I was just confused there for a second. So anyway, the, the entire darn tower basically turns into, like... You know, there, there, there's really nothing... Yeah, it, it's kind of fruitless. Uh, we'll just put it that way. It's a fruitless effort to get any kind of gold or experience or anything, because it doesn't benefit you in any way. Awesome. And then run for your life before those things come to life and uh, slaughter you. Yeah, let's go ahead and put that thing, too. It's kind of like fighting enemies in a Zelda game. You know? Like, why bother? It's not like fighting enemies gives you experience or anything. Like, you can get some rubies from them. But once you've bought, you know, the medicine or the bottle or the blue armor or whatever it is that you need to get, like, it's kind of pointless, you know? Why bother fighting the enemies? You just ignore them. At least that's what I do. Whoa! Uh-oh! Yikes! Yeah, we're in kind of a boss room right here, so what I want to do is go ahead and equipped the shield ring, and then, if you're on harder difficulty levels, I would recommend equipping the heal potion just in case, and I would also recommend saving just in case as well. Now let's head on inside, but thankfully I'm on easy mode, which makes this guy really, really easy. Just run into him. Do not stop running into him, and you will kill him before he kills you. It's seriously that easy. Like, it's pretty ridiculous. <laughs> if you're on harder difficulty levels, you have to kind of, like, run around and hit him from the right, and then hit him from the left, and then keep on going, but, yeah. I'm not, so I don't really feel like doing all that. I played this game for the story. Uh, hey, awesome, got the Book of Ease, and... A hammer, but we can't read this Book of Ease. Huh, but there's only two more left, and can we find them? Find out next time let's play Ease Chronicles. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day. Okay, let me show you how you're supposed to kill this guy. Go ahead and run over here, and then run into him again. And then you gotta be like really quick about this whenever you're running into him, so his boomerangs don't get you. Um, it's just, like, you have to wait for all three of them to come out, and then bash him, and then bash him, Come on, try and get me, bitch! Bam! Yikes! Yeah, we're actually doing halfway decent. But sometimes you can kind of get cornered. You can get stuck in the doorway, which can be really bad, and you can use lose a lot of your HP. Oh, I didn't get him. You get to lose a lot of your HP pretty quickly um, if you do that. But honestly, this guy is not hard. So yeah, if you're on higher difficulty levels, that's all you gotta do. So yeah, catch you next time.